Welcome ladies and gentlemen. I want to appreciate you so much because of your great support. Please consider subscribing to this channel. This budget bill, I want us to look at it in two different ways. One, regarding Ashagwa and William Ruto, wants this budget bill to be passed by these members of parliament allied to them so that they can manage their target and their promises. That is number one. Number two, this budget bill is destroying and also squeezing business people across the Republic of Kenya and mainly from Mount Kenya region. As we speak now, let us not cheat each other. When you look at business people across the Republic of Kenya, a bigger percentage of them, almost to 65%, are from Mount Kenya region. When you go to Nairobi, bigger percentage of them are them. When you go to Nakuru County, the same. When you go to Wasingishu County, in a town called Eldoret, the same. So when you look at these people, it's not in a bad way, but the truth is, when William Ruto and Rigadi Gashagwa went for presidency, they promised to rescue these business people. So I want us to look at a very critical issue that is going to affect more Kenya region business people, which when you look at their expression of concern, they are so deeply aggrieved by this budget bill. But before we do that, ladies and gentlemen, we are having a fundraising to support Nurdin Salash, who is going to take kidney transplant at Medhill Hospital, Parklands, Nairobi County. After reaching out this channel, and he is among those who are sub subscribers of this channel and support us, he is requesting with a humble heart, you can assist him raise 1 million Kenya shillings. So please, the way I'm displaying the number below the screen, if you're willing to support him, I will appreciate. Support him with what you have, and God will bless you. Now, I want us to look at a very critical issue when it comes to this finance bill. Finance bill of 2023. When you look at very various issues that are in this bill, is that now the issue that is being raised is that this bill is not going to squeeze business people across the Republic of Kenya. Rather, the intention that William Ruto and Rigadi Gashagwa and their brigades are telling us is that this is because they want to fulfill their promises and their agendas to be successful. Something that is creating a confusion and also a kind of ugly fallout between William Ruto and other Mount Kenya leaders, elected one, and some are not elected, is that the common wananchi are coming out, speaking loud, telling them, that the direction that you are taking is is not just going to affect business people across the Republic of Kenya, but mainly, mainly in Mount Kenya region. This comes after also today, during a press briefing of Azimio, Mata Karwa came out bitterly presenting her petition that this budget bill is going to affect largely Mount Kenya region. But before I, I, I display the video of Martha Karua, I want you to be very keen. This budget bill, some part of it is good, but some part of it is not good. And I told you, about 75% of this budget bill is going to affect Kenyans. And largely, those who are doing business. Imagine you are being told, Mama Mboga is going to give tax to this government. 
if you are going to sell 1,300 Kenyan shillings, live alone even profit, making profit, you must contribute a tax in that what you have sold that day. Are they building Mamamboga or destroying Mamamboga? Are they building up Boda Boda people or are they destroying Boda Boda people? So the question that is being raised is after a Mamamboga came out complaining and the part of today she was trending saying that William Ruto and regarding Gashago used her then dumped her. Is it that this is the criteria that these people are grieving and expressing their concern bitterly but people or rather William Ruto and Rigadi Gashagwa are not listening to, the, to, to her. So what the video of Martha Kawa then put in? Many of the, me of the tax measures contained in the finance bill currently before parliament are unreasonable and clearly directed not only at the nation but particularly at Mount Kenya businesses. The proposed turnover tax is, a basic, is basically a tax on assets whose primary objective is to impoverish the Mamambogas, Boda Bodas, and other vulnerable Kenyans struggling to make a living in these difficult economic circumstances. The majority of these businesses, small businesses, are owned largely by men and women of the mountain region. I will invite my colleague on Abokioni to read the conclusion. In light of the above, After we state a video of Mata Karua, you must come out into your realization that this is a very critical issue that is rocking across the Republic of Kenya. That these business people are going to face a very hard situation. Why? We are being told by close allies of William Ruto that this issue that we are seeing that Mamamboga is going to pay tax is not true. It's true. William Ruto said that everyone must pay tax. Be it you content creator, Mama Boga, Boda Boda people, you've been employed somewhere, you must pay taxes. And they have come out to confirm they have mechanisms that are going to use to ensure that everyone is going to pay tax. That is what we are being told. So in a matter of fact, in a situation like this, as the ground is hot, hostile, is that William Ruto is feeling a very difficult situation, at the same as Rigadi Gashagwa, as Mount Kenya is grieving, and other parts of the Republic of Kenya is grieving, at the same time, they are insisting that this budget bill must be passed. You want to tell me that I'm not listening to the people? They are listening to the people. That is the situation that we are in. So this ugly fallout is being staged at a point that Rigadi Gashagwa should come out to represent the people of, of Mount Kenya region, the way he has been always coming out. The same Rigadi Gashagwa has been saying that he's going to talk about the issue of tea, coffee, mira and milk. As we speak now, the day she came out promising that she was going to finish the issue of cartels in Mount Kenya region is not there. He has not come out to accomplish the, his promises. So the promises after promises is coming out to expose the William Ruto's Rigadi Gashagwa government. As a woman or Mama Mboga from Mount Kenya region is complaining of William Ruto and Rigadi Gashagwa because of they used her at the same time they never came out assisting her. Now she's just struggling on her own way. Is it a clear indication that Rigadi Gashagwa has come out to deviate from the real intention of his leadership?
to other issues that is not the expectation of the people. So that is the big question. So this budget bill is creating a division and also a very scaring, ugly fallout between William Ruto and his close allies at the same as Azimio Ramoja. What a drop your opinion at the comment section below. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.